to think of it. Excuse me? Wrong answer. while since we attended class. The teachers and our classmates seem to be doing well. By the way, did you notice that Junpei-san was missing? I saw him head for the rooftop before afternoon classes started. Perhaps he decided to skip the first day of the semester? a reason to be up here I just sort of felt like it only to find Junpei here as well <laughs> I guess I just felt the urge myself maybe we've been through so much together that our wavelengths are in sync <sighs> that's just your imagination if I'm on the same wavelength as Junpei I'd better change the channel anyhow it's so nice today isn't it the wind's a little chilly, but the fresh breeze feels great. Looking from here, the view ain't that bad. It's familiar scenery, but I guess that's why it's so calming. The end almost doesn't feel real. People have been passing out and disappearing out of nowhere lately, huh? They've been talking about a lot of shadow-related incidents on the news, too. Mitsuru-senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims memory revision can't keep up i don't really get it this is all because of nix huh feels like the world's hit rock bottom there's even weird cults popping up i guess this won't be one of those oh it was just a dream moment <laughs> we'll do whatever we can no regrets. I'm not gonna try and act cool and say things like, I want to protect everyone, but I couldn't handle it if the time we spent together disappeared. Yep. In fact, the tales of the amazing battles I survived should be handed down through every generation forever. Look who's talking. Weren't you the one who was sulking and giving us a hard time? Well, that was the passion of my youth. You know, I've matured since. You think so too, right, dude? That's right. I'm a man with a plan. You're not gonna want to miss this. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. I'm not one to talk, though. 
I got stuck in my own head and acted out too. I wonder if I've grown since then. I mean, it used to be just the three of us, right? If you'd asked me back then, I never would have guessed it'd come to this. We've all been through so much this year. Well, yeah. But you gotta look on the bright side. Our friendship is way stronger now, isn't it? <laughs> Don't say that with such a straight face. You're embarrassing me. But I guess it hasn't been too bad. We've gotten this far together. So let's see it through to the end. Yeah. Let's send them packing. And those two guys from Strega haven't made a move. But you know they gotta be planning something. We gotta take care of them, too. Let's show them what C's 2F's trio can do. Now that I got you guys, I feel way more pumped. Oh. I just remembered, Junpei. You never gave me back that CD. In fact, you never return anything you borrow. What? Oh, yeah. That. But do you have to bring it up now? together like this anymore to be honest something's been on my mind i saw a magazine in any room. guess what it was called how'd you guess man you're amazing when i saw that magazine it got me thinking and i've made up my mind man as soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna marry Emiri. You think that's a good plan? I'm not rushing things. I'm gonna marry her eventually, so what's the difference? Why should I wait? I'm seriously in love with Emiri, and I'm gonna marry her. Then, Emiri Kana will be known as Emiri Tomochika, and I'll make her the happiest wife ever. <laughs> Sorry, I just want you to back me up, you know? We should get going. I wonder how many more times I'll get to walk home with you like this. during the climax was amazing, wasn't it? Speaking of action 
the scenes, Japan's live action superhero shows are just as good. Really? a whole mess of trouble and honestly some of the stuff i've said is really not okay is it because we're both persona users or are we actually good friends or do you by any chance have feelings for what do you really think of me what? No way! Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg, are you? You really mean it? It just feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. The tears won't stop coming. <laughs> You're so hard to read. You're always so kind to everyone. That's why I thought you saw me as just a friend like everyone else. Lately, I found myself getting upset when I've seen you talking with Fuka. It made me scared that I was turning into a petty, jealous person. I felt awful about it. So, oh, um, I'd like it if you had eyes for me. And only me. <sighs> See you back. head to bed. Have a good night.
I see you're back.
holds up. Why? Hey, man. Sorry to make you come here. I, uh, uh, damn it. Yeah, I, I... Dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emmy reading me. It blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? That's what I thought. Except I feel like she's totally avoiding me. It's like all of a sudden she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. soon. Thanks for hearing me out today. Oh, there you are. We're all going to Hagakure. Wanna come? Oh, that was easy. Sonata-san's buying today. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? Wow, you probably forgot all about it by now. Well, you won in the end, even if it was Ikes. But whatever, Sonata-san still lost, right? Even if it took me like six months to make him admit it. Come on, everyone else already left. We got a jet. Everyone's okay with the special, right? Never treated us all to ramen before. I'll accept that I lost. Why do I have to treat all of you? You're still going on about that? 
Mine tonight, Asan. A bet to bet. You gotta pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong? I guess you doubting me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on the counter? The headline caught my attention. What magazine? This one, Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Oh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Oh. Hmm? Hey, look at this photo. Check out their so-called messiah. What the? Is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So, it's Strega after all. I just lost my appetite. Listen. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is known as Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. When Nyx arrives, there will be no more pain, no more suffering. Humanity shall be freed. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? But that's a lie! I don't think that even matters. This is all just a game to him. That bastard! But there are those who do not understand the truth, even though they have also been granted her blessing. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Right, right. Sorry. But can you blame me? And what do they mean by the charismatic one? Why is he suddenly a celebrity? Well... Apparently, Jin was already pretty well known on the internet. He's probably good at influencing public perception. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame by building his brand like a celeb. Ugh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is upon us, my brethren. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Perhaps the power of an exceptionally charismatic individual is the only way to change this nebulous future. That's the end of the article. It appears Strega disappeared again after the interview. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. <laughs> They're just wasting everyone's time. Still, it seems they've managed to shift the atmosphere of the entire city. Even if they don't say it out loud, people must be scared inside. Yeah, they probably are. Why else would anyone believe this nonsense? It's not normal. Believing what you hear is a choice. There's no real way for them to know what's true. Oh, no wonder it feels like the world's ending. We're all gonna die. But is that so unusual? All life will eventually come to an end. Does Nyx's involvement change that in some way? Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this?
but we're already here, so why don't we just leave it at that? Our target is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll deal with them too. That's all there is to it. Agreed. We'll probably run into them in Tartarus anyway. No matter how you look at it, they want us out of the picture. Promise Day's almost here, huh? Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. All right. And first things first, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat. Excuse me! I'll add a hog of Kurebo to the list. You don't mind, right, Sanada-san? Oh, Junpei, didn't you say you were eating half of Igus's food, too? <laughs> don't worry, I'm starving. You better eat it all.
welcome back. Rains, who struggle so fervently, twinkling like stars in the night. But such delusion will not lead to deliverance. What, join us in the Messiah and await the moment of salvation? You say that only because you don't know the truth. Heed the voice of the Messiah and follow the path to true salvation. So... Thanks. Hey man, I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiru. So this will be the last time we have ramen together. Emiri? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. He's just a kid. 
He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. Y he should be grateful. It seems like he's the one who spread the rumors, and now other students are. Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emily. So, I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I... I... It's fine. I'm okay. Thanks, though, man. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up, not her. Why, Emery? Why? <laughs> now my nose is running. Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd... Let's go. See you back. I don't know why, but I feel so calm when I have someone reading next to me. It's getting pretty late. Should we wrap up for the night? This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Yes, exactly. So...
Another day, another bowl of ramen. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? <sighs> Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. Say to me? Nothing inspiring or encouraging? Anything? Dude, you gotta learn when to say the right words if you want to land yourself a girl. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. up some chicks. Ah, no, 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 no. I I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. On top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emmy Re? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is you're a true friend. I say such embarrassing things. God, I'm such a dumbass. Anyway, here, take this. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of, uh, so I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. within thyself.
I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it ten. Welcome back. Um, excuse By the way... By the way... No way! Excuse me. That's great. I find myself coming here a lot lately. Before, I couldn't understand the benefits of coming to these shrines. But lately, that's changed. This is also where we met Koromaru-san last summer. He waited here until we found him, even though he knew his master had died. I can understand why now. What drives people isn't necessarily facts, but feelings. He knew for a fact that his master had died, but his feelings of wanting to be with him made him stay. I feel the same. I recognized the fact that I can't protect you, but I came back anyway. Subconsciously, I was acting based on my emotions rather than logic. I was so confused at the time that I didn't notice it, but it's true. The parameters governing my behavior seem to have been updated during my time with you. what drives people but of course Koromar
right. Guess we'll get started.
Thank you very much. I like this place. I can see the entire town from here. The Moonlight Bridge is to the right, and over there is Polonia Mall. Oh, and did you know you can also see our dorm from here? Back in Yakushima, where I'd been sleeping, the ocean waters were much clearer than they are here. But I prefer the view here. Hmm. Before I came here, I didn't even think about whether I liked the scenery or not. What about you? Do you like it here? I'm so glad to hear that. <sighs> Feeling the same way? Watching the same scenery? It's nice. I began to feel emotions towards various things that I hadn't felt before. It's a little scary sometimes. But if I can change by being with you, then I want to cherish these feelings. Oh, I'm sorry to have gone on for so long. It's still January, so the winds can get quite chilly up here. It would be awful if you caught a cold. Oh, welcome back. Exactly. Yep, yep. Stay behind me. This could be dangerous. They seem very angry. You're the ones that I often see at the shrine. What's wrong? What? Koromaro-san? You think we what? Wait, we aren't mistreating Koromaro-san. It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but... What? No. Oh, um, these are Koromaro-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaro-san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? This is all a misunderstanding, everyone. I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. 
I see. No wonder they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it, but I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, nor quite human. It. I have to be true to myself. Hmm. Sorry for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. sure that Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. Excuse me, could I trouble you for a moment? Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Michan. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's getting on in her years, like me, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat? Did you see one? Oh, I see. I've been so worried. I hope my little Michan is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. A white spotted cat named Michan. If you don't mind, could we help her look? Being separated from a loved one can be very distressing after all. Usually used in situations like these. What goes around 
comes around to hit you in the back of the head. That's it. She might be so hungry. She could eat a house. Or was it hungry as a house? In any case, we should hurry. There's no trace of her. I can detect hostile readings like shadows. But when it comes to this... I'm useless, aren't I? And I was the one who insisted we search. I'm sorry. Thank you. But it's getting dark. We should probably give up the search for today. I'm happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. Hmm. It's not working out. After all, how could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? I'll be going back alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry. After you invited me out, too. Welcome back! Thank you very much. Was that a cat's meow? Could it be? Are you Nichan san? It is Nichan san. I'm so glad. Let's go tell the old lady about this. Oh, there, there. You seem a little skinnier than you used to be. This little one is all I have left to keep me company. I was so lonely when Michan was missing. I don't know how I can thank the both of you. Lonely? Is being by oneself lonely? Oh, yes, dear. When you get to be my age, you'll find that all the wealth in the world won't take care of you. No one can truly live alone. Some of my neighbors have delightful children, but... Oh, oh, they aren't interested in old ladies like me. Miss. Well, Michan, shall we go home? Thank you so much, you two. It seems that living is something that can't be done alone. Yes, 
it's important to keep someone in your thoughts and to know that you are in theirs. To be able to contact them anytime and to touch them. But I do understand one thing. It seems I feel happy when I'm together with you. But I have to wonder if living means to be able to connect with other people. How close to that goal can I come with a body like mine? Just kidding. I've been exceedingly negative lately. I wonder what's wrong with me. We should start heading back. After that. She's Michan san's owner. Hey, Granny! I got a date tomorrow, but uh, I don't have any money or anything, you know? Oh my, is that so? Oh, you poor thing. You've always been such a good boy, Kyoshi. This advance on your allowance will just be between you and me. Come on, quit it! I told you not to call me Kiyoshi! But it's such a beautiful name. I picked it out myself, you know. It was the name of a fine doctor from my home village. Yeah, I know, I've heard. Come on, hook me up already! Oh, yes, yes. It's not much. Try not to spend it all in one place. Sweet, thanks. See ya! Be careful, and visit again soon. I have something I want to ask that Kiyoshi-san. Kiyoshi-san, please wait! Don't call me! 
me that... Uh, uh, I guess, senpai? Do you know me? Well, yeah. You're famous. Uh, I'm uh, Kiyoshi Sakuma. I'm a first year. Everyone calls me Joe, I guess, senpai, so you can just... I would like to ask you something, Kiyoshi-san. Do you mind? Uh, uh, sure. Kiyoshi-san, do you feel lonely when you are by yourself? Huh? What? Your grandmother said that she's lonely because she has nobody else. What is this, a lecture? No, I just want to know. Why don't you visit your grandmother more often? If you are her relative, you may have the power to alleviate her loneliness. I mean, I am her grandson, but... Look, I don't need a lecture from you, all right? It's none of your business, okay? Kiyoshi-san, have you ever considered what it means to live? To live? Personally, I think the bonds between people are what's most important. That's what your grandmother is slowly losing. <sighs> to live? Are you kidding? No one actually talks like that. What more do you need out of life than to have a blast? To have a blast? I mean, you're happy when you're having fun, right? So hell yeah! We're alive to have a good time! A good time? So, what do you say, Aika Senpai? If you got time, why don't we... Thank you, Kiyoshi-san. Let's go. Huh? What the hell? What, so you were just trying to play me? <laughs> Screw you! I can't understand Kiyoshi-san's feelings. And I even made him angry. Did I do something wrong? I see. I wonder why hearing you reassure me that way is... Well, it makes me happy. I... Ever since I decided to live, I've been asking why and how more frequently. The more time I spend with you, the more I discover that I don't understand. But when I ask myself why I'm not alive, I never have an answer. <sighs> Is this what you call frustration? But at the same time, I feel extremely lucky. I would even say I'm more fortunate than others despite not being human myself. After all, you are very important to me, and I get to be by your side. It's strange how two conflicting feelings can coexist. In all honesty, though, my feelings towards Kyoshi-san are... Unusually harsh. Kiyoshi-san has warm, soft hands to embrace those precious to him. And yet he... <sighs> what is this ugly feeling? Is it... Jealousy? Let's stop this. It isn't right. Yes, I am stopping right here. Shall we go home then?
Thank you. Oh! You're Kiyoshi-san's grandmother. Good afternoon. Oh, you're those nice students from before. Hello there. You have great timing. I was just hoping to run into you two again. The truth is... Mitron's disappeared again. Oh, so it's a recurring problem. Don't worry, though. At least this time, we have an idea of where to find her. No, that's all right. I believe that this time... Mitron went in search of something. In search of something? When cats feel that their life is nearly over, they look for a place to wait for the end. Isn't that what they say? Wait, but what about... It's okay. Michan even came to say goodbye to me before she left. So... I don't think I'll need you to find her anymore. Miss. Besides, it's more or less the same for me. My day will eventually come too. And when it does, I hope I can rest in peace without making trouble for anyone else. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry, but... I did want to make sure I thanked you two again. It was nice to see you. Well, good day. Wait, Miss, um... You're not alone. I'm certain of it. <laughs> yes, you're right. No one is ever truly alone. Not as long as they continue to live in this world. See? I have the company of a fine young lady such as yourself. <sighs> Bless you, dear girl. You have a kind heart. See you later. Kiyoshi-san said that People live to be happy. Was Michan-san happy? Was Michan-san grateful to have been born? For what purpose was Michan-san born? Originate. Where does it go? What reason does life have to exist? Living means connecting with others. All life eventually ends. Parting seems to be a natural and inevitable aspect of life. An unavoidable end. Life is cruel. I wonder, will I too someday have to part with you forever? <sighs> I do want to live, but that's not the only thing. I... It's not just about becoming more human. It's about you. Being with you. What... What is this feeling? What do I want to do? Welcome back.
yeah. You know what? Yep, yep. Attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? I'm not going to say much, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. After you graduate, are you planning on going to college or getting a job? I see. Well, if you've already thought about it and made your choice, then there's nothing else for me to say. What's most important is that the decision is yours. And yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then, you'll have to live with the consequences. Whatever they may be. But, to be honest, I'm not that worried about you. You've really matured over this last year. In fact, you've changed so much, I almost don't even recognize you. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful third year. Let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. Oh, the next one up for career consultation? That'd be Aigis-san. She was just here a second ago, but I guess she went out. Maybe she's on the roof? I've seen her go up there alone every now and then. Sure. Good luck. So do you think she's gonna go to college or get a job? She's full of mysteries, isn't she? She's changed recently, though. Don't you think? Like her expressions and stuff. Again with that? You ever gonna stop thinking about hitting on girls? I don't mean it like that. All I'm saying is...
I'm sorry I went off on my own. After New Year's, when I had time to gather my thoughts, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji-kun that night, I got... really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and ashamed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. In the past, if I didn't understand something, I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But ever since I decided to live for myself, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. But there's one thing that I do understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But I... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet, but I want to learn the answer. And I think I can, if I'm with you. So please, please, take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with everything I have. Please. Welcome back. No! What? So, um... today. I don't detect the usual scent of the sea. Hmm. I'm sorry about the other day. I think my heart is growing closer to that of a human. But because of that, I've realized something. The heart and body are inseparable. A human heart can only function properly within a human body. Um, have you ever come here alone with someone else before? Perhaps you gazed out at the view together and spoke quietly. Oh, I didn't mean to pry. I was just curious. What? 
but I'm only shaped like a human. And besides, I'm a machine. <sighs> Actually, I've been a little worried. At school, I am seen as a human girl. I was concerned that if I stayed too close to you, it could cause a misunderstanding. If that is the case, please tell me right away. I wouldn't want to prevent you from becoming closer to another person. why I sometimes see couples alone up here after school. They might be leaning against one another, or embracing. I never gave it a second thought before, but lately, it pains me to see them. I think I've come to realize that this is the kind of connection I can never have. As my heart grows more and more human, it only becomes clearer how much sets us apart. Just because my heart is developing, doesn't mean I can actually become human. I've known this since the beginning, yet... I'm sorry, I lost control of myself again. But I still care about you, and that won't ever change, no matter what happens. feel this way why are you so important to me this is love
So that's it. They finally understand. They have another wish. One just as important as my desire to live. But I know that this is something that I can never have. Let's go home. Isn't it interesting how the sunlight on a clear winter day seems stronger than it is during the summer? Perhaps it's because the sun is lower in the sky, and you don't have to look up to see it. I've gotten so used to this view, but no two times is it ever exactly the same. You could say the same thing about one's day to day, and to each life as well. The promised day is almost here. January 31st. Whenever I come up here, I get lost in my thoughts. I can't let it end like this. I want to protect it all. Thoughts like that. Since last time, I've tried thinking things through more rationally. I thought about that old lady and Michan-san. And Kiyoshi-san as well. I wonder if Michan-san was alone until the moment of her death, somewhere no one could find her. I think the old lady wanted to be there for her at the end. To live means to be connected to other people, but life is finite. Farewells are unavoidable, it's sad to think about, but you and I will have to part one day as well. And then... I'll never be able to see you again. There are so many things in life I don't understand. It's filled with so much pain. You meet others, forge relationships, and spend time with them. And then they're gone, leaving you behind, leaving you alone. <laughs> when I think about that, I just can't hold back my feelings. But I understand now. That's just how it is. No two views are alike. No two days are the same. It's natural for everything to disappear, re-emerge, and constantly change. Life is both short and finite. That's what makes it so invaluable, and why one feels that it must be cherished. When you think about it, it's a miracle that two given people are able to ever meet in this chaotic flow of time and space. I believe that's why we find happiness in forging bonds and relationships with others. And it might be the true joy of being alive. It can be sad, but at the same time so warm. Beautiful because it is destined to end. And that's why... I mustn't hesitate any longer. I need to tell you, even if this wish of mine is to never come true, I still want to tell you my true feelings. <sighs> um, I... I... love you. I 
know I'm a machine. I know that I cannot truly touch you as a human. But I can't help it. All I can see or think about is you. I love you so much that I feel like I'm going to break down somehow. Thank you. I'm grateful that you gave me a straight answer. And that you treated me like a human being. <laughs> it's painful. But now, I feel like I can move on without regrets. <sighs> oh, um... Shall we head back? And if you don't mind, I'd like to be as we always have. As a friend by your side. Everyone, listen up. No playing catch in the park. <laughs> Kinda messed up, don't you think? Playing catch is how kids are supposed to make friends. Adults can't just ban it because they feel like it.
Yeah, that'd be the logical response, but I'm just saying, if more places end up like this, it's gonna be a real problem for kids who want to play baseball. In any case, I didn't know it was banned here till today. When I first moved here, I'd play against the wall every now and then. This whole catch thing, it's because I wanted to get my arms back in shape. I've been thinking about maybe getting back into baseball again. I still have no clue what I want to do with my life. And if I keep trying to avoid it, I'll have nothing but regret hanging over me. Next time I'm asked what I'll be doing in two years, I want to have a real answer. That's why I'm picking baseball back up. You, uh, think that's the right call? Nothing else really comes to mind. Anyway, here. This is for you. Today was a bust, but we'll try again another time. Hang on to that till then. Though I guess we'll have to wait till after, you know what, huh? I don't know. Honestly, I've been feeling like this since April. I can barely juggle what I've got on my plate as it is. Alone, think about the future. Our senpais, though, they're such badasses. They're still prepping for exams, even with everything going on. Man, it's been a hell of a year. We're gonna look back on all this someday and wonder how we ever got through any of it. And it wasn't all good. And we hit more than a few rough patches. Guess you could say our short lives have been pretty wild so far, huh? Despite all that's happened, I'm glad you became our leader. I know I said you should do what you want to do. Thanks for choosing to fight. Well then, let's make sure this chapter of our lives ends on a happy note. All right? And then, Hollywood will turn our adventure into a movie. I'd be the lead, obviously. Dude, you'd be a shoe in for best supporting actor. <laughs> That serious crap ain't our style, is it? Come on, let's head home. We'll figure out how to sweep the Oscars on the way. Welcome back. Shall we take a look? Have you all the elements you need? Accept yourself. Accept your abilities. Personas you would like to fuse. Are you finished? 
finished. We look for... You. Welcome back. Good day. I can sense a presence. Oh, yes. Very well. Oh, 
Not that. What to do? Enemies defeated without incident. Huh. These patterns look a bit like the ones we saw at the Temple Gardens in Kyoto. That's one strong shadow. This is our champion initiative. We don't seem very strong. Good workout. chest. Let's open it up. There's 
the shadow. up these stairs. Good day. I can sense a presence. Oh, yes. Very well, then. your nerves get to it. Then again, you've never had that problem. It looks like this is our way up. Let's finish. 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 Let's fin
check. I don't know their weaknesses. Can you test something else? I've got you. You'll have to use trial and error. I don't know their way to do this yet. Can you test something else? I haven't seen any weaknesses. You'll have to use trial and error. Good work there. Prepare to analyze. One step at a time. Let's go! They've been shot. They're wide this open. This is my resolve. Victory is ours. Now let's... Shadow up ahead. What? Pay attention to our chance to go first. Two enemies. You can take them. The enemy is down. Like we'll be needing a 10 count. That certainly went well. Let's do it. 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 Let's do
a shadow. I'll be able to scan the enemy soon. Never mind. I'll go with. Teamwork, everyone. Now on to the next. As long as I'm wearing this armband, nothing can bring me down. Looks like someone's trapped in here. Let's get him out. Very well, then. Um... Now, let's keep our goal nice and simple. Get to the top. Oh, there's a treasure chest! <sighs> this place is so empty. Chance. You can hit a weakness with this. I've got this. 
Shadow of the head. You have a skill that can hit a weakness. This is Imagine we'd be where we are. Shadow up ahead. Taking it out. An enemy. How should we proceed? Huh? What's a cat? a little closer ah right there that should be good okay here goes cheese oh good it came out nicely this time I wasn't here when everyone took pictures last time wanted to get one with you since. Technically, I could just capture video data through my eyes. But in that situation, I wouldn't be able to appear in the picture myself. Oh, I know it's a little late to be asking this, but do you like taking photos? Ah, what a relief. In that case, we should get a silly one next time. 
I think photographs are a truly amazing invention. They allow us to preserve a single moment in the endless flow of time. This technology was born from a desire to preserve the experiences that are precious to us. Until recently, I was sad about the fact that I am a machine, that I'm so different from other people. But after telling you my feelings, I realized something. There is one thing only a machine with a human heart can do, that only I can do. No matter how clear our photos and records are, they can't preserve our feelings. Data and memories aren't the same thing. Emotions can't be captured by a photograph. They can only continue to exist in our memories. But we'll all have to say goodbye eventually. And someday, our memories will fade. But I'm different. I'm going to keep my memories of everyone alive. Your experiences and feelings will continue to live on inside of me. I will never forget. Even if you all change, or if time ends up pulling us apart. Oh, yes. Um, will you take this? That's one of my parts that had to be replaced after I collapsed at the Moonlight Bridge. I asked Mitsuru-san to have it sent here. I kept it hidden until recently, because it reminded me that I'm just a machine, but not anymore. Now, it's a symbol to show that I'll always remember you. This is the proof of my resolve, and I want you to have it. I want you to know that as long as I'm here, I will never leave you. No matter how or when your life comes to an end, at that moment, I will be by your side. Everything that makes you who you are will live on in my memories. I am your friend, but I am also the machine that will keep your memory alive. Because this is something only I can do. together we ran into each other at the station and well i would have felt bad just leaving junpei behind there uh -huh. you're just so thoughtful aren't you <laughs> so what were you and i guess up to i've actually been wondering for a while now but what do you two usually talk about? Today, we were having a very fulfilling discussion about photographs. Oh, that's right. Why don't we all take a photo together since we're here? Ooh, check it out! We got all the second years here! All right, I'm in. Let's do it. Sure, but who's gonna take it? I don't think we can fit all five of us. Well, I guess we could just take turns. Ah, uh, okay. I'll take the first shot. Where does everyone want to stand? <laughs> <laughs> 